What's up guys, everyone's having a wonderful day. Welcome to another day in a life video. We're gonna start off this video with a gym workout and this could be more of a leg specific workout. Nothing crazy, just a couple exercises. As you always know, we always start off with some dynamic stretching, some injury prevention exercises, and then we moved into our first plyometric exercise, which is gonna be hurdle hops. So obviously we did a couple warm up sets and then we moved into three working sets and then we put the shoes back on and we did another three sets of hurdle hops, but now implementing a broad jump. And these are extremely beneficial. <laughs> and right here in this next clip, almost lost balance and busted my ass, but luckily I recovered. But these are extremely beneficial because it's going to work on that ankle stiffness and that vertical four. So implementing that is just going to help you jump up higher and sprint faster. After that, we moved into our next compound lift. This is a power exercise. These are the hang power cleans. This is a very technical exercise, but has a lot of benefits to doing it because it's working on that triple extension. But the issue is that with a lot of strength and conditioning coaches, they're not going to prescribe their soccer players with this exercise because if you don't know how to do it properly, you're at a high risk of getting injured. But if you can learn this with really good form and start off with light weight, then there could be a lot more benefits than cons. And especially when the strength and conditioning coach has to watch over so many soccer players, they rather choose something that doesn't have such a higher risk of injury. So super beneficial. I mean, if you have the opportunity to learn this exercise, I mean, I highly recommend it. There's only so many benefits to learning this. But, you know, if you don't have the time, then there's definitely other exercises that can still help you get faster and stronger. And the last exercise that we did was some barbell RDLs going nice and slow, controlled down and then exploding up. And this is going to be targeting the hamstrings and the glutes. And the only reason why I did a couple exercises is because you're going to see in the next clip, we hit the field. But this is a very short workout, nothing too crazy, but it's just enough stimulus to ensure that I maintain my strength and actually get faster and stronger as long as you progressively overload yourself in different ways, whether that's, you know, going and have your weight, taking, you know, shorter rest time or even upping the you know the sets doing an extra set those are all ways to progressively overload and make improvements so hopefully you guys enjoyed that gym session and now we're gonna head to the field out very ton. sweet out of ton tastes like a jolly rancher okay out of ten eight out of ten eight yes. Holy smokes. what do you think can you get another taste no nah, maybe like seven Oh, slurp juice. Oh, 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 oh. Hmm. Danny just got powered up through two inches. You didn't see it here though, it's down there. <laughs> yeah, that was alright. Those are two. <laughs> what you rate it? You said two? A uh, number two. Uh, what do you uh, rate it out of ten? Yo, but we're not gonna take the fact that I just did a bottle flip first time and it landed. No one was hyped for that. Imagine if I just did a backflip. Right? <laughs> oh, I can do a backflip. Oh, you can do a backflip. Hey, do it right now. In a minute, bro. Do it. Bro, my sore ass leg is going to land on my first, face. Hey, bro. first time. He's hitting it first time. Oh, Let's see. It. No warm up. We're going right to it. Come on. That's let me crazy. see. I'm going to land on my face and I'm going to scrape my nose like last time, bro. <laughs> nah, this, this field has bad juju. I broke my collarbone on that side of this field, so right. I'm not doing that. No, no acrobatic shit here. What? Oh, let's get this session started, boys. Come on, bro. Vamos. Danny only has 50, like 45 minutes. Bring him. Touch, back. Turn, touch. Move. One, two. Ball. Yep. Right here. Get there. Yep. Yep. Turn. Ball. One, two. Yes. Ball. Good. Back to me. All right. Yep. 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 Ball. Good. Touch. Come on. Get there. Good. Come on. Yes. Get there. One, two. Ball. Ball. Good. Get it. Yep. Move on. Back to me. Good. Turn. Move off that space. Ball. Good. Back to me. Yep. Turn. Yep. Come on. Come on. Come on. Better. Move out that space. Good. Back to me. Good. Yep. Yes. Yep. 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 Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes. 
Yes. Yep. Yep. So this is one of my favorite drills that I like to implement for especially my wingers and strikers. This is making a timed run in behind, taking it towards the middle, beating the opponent and getting a shot on goal. A lot of times players can't, you know, stay composed enough to put it on frame or they slow down too much. So this drill is just great overall because it mimics the game so well and this is something that's really not too complicated all you have to do is just make pretend that you're making a through ball run just wait for the pass making sure you're making eye contact with the person passing the ball and try not to slow down try to maintain as top as much speed as possible going forward and try to be as big of a threat as possible i see too many players they'll they're too afraid to take the touch towards the middle and they end up taking it down line and they end up getting trapped in the corner so this drill really helps you work on breaking that habit of taking it out wide and more take it towards the middle where the goal is and where you're more of a threat of. So we did three shots each and that was plenty of reps for us for each round because each rep needs to be game speed and just after one or two you should be extremely tired. So extremely beneficial drill and if you're a winger or a striker this is going to translate so well to the game and just help you how well can you maintain that composure in front of goal a lot of times as you start getting fatigued and tired we start missing those easy open goals as you're gonna see me as I you know as the round moves on I start getting tired I start taking a poor touch I start you know taking too many touches and taking too long when I should be just taking one good touch towards the middle and picking my spot on goal So the last thing that we did for this session was some crossing and finishing and a tip I have for you guys, especially the wingers and fullbacks, is when you're crossing, try to predict where your teammate's going to end up being. That's exactly where you should be playing the ball. 
because if you play it too behind them it's going to be almost impossible for them to react to it but if you play it a little far in front of them they're more likely going to have the ability to accelerate and get there so hopefully that tip helps you out also there's a lot of other factors but i'll make a more in-depth video on those tips I got something new for y'all. Whoa! Oh. 